New Year's Eve is filled with traditions, but inflation is taking a toll here in the U.S. And Brooke De Palma is here with some global traditions that will cost Americans more this year. That's right. Well, first, let's kick it off with fruit. By the way, Brian, you look fantastic. Thanks so much. Kicking it off with fruit here, a Filipino tradition is to have 12 to 13 uh, round uh, fruit on the table. That's supposed to intend, uh, of course, 12 months in a year, bring in prosperity. And then, as Brian, you have this right there. This is the there, biggest grace I've ever seen in my life. Grapes from this the West like Side baseball. Market hey, in Lower East baseball. Side, Manhattan. Two pounds of grapes cost me roughly $12. Now, that's an Italian and Spanish tradition mm. to have 12 grapes at the stroke of midnight in order to represent each month and ultimately bring good fortune in the new year. Now, across the table, we actually have a Greek tradition. That is a cake called the Vasilopoda. There is one golden lira inside that cake, and whoever gets it is Wait, brought no good fortune. There's a golden lira inside the cake. So one coin inside the cake, and whoever gets it, it's meant to bring uh, good fortune. Now they're pushing out of the way for each other. But we got that from Pie Bakery in Soho here in New York, and they told us that the uh, ingredients to make the food ultimately cost about 25% more than this time last year across the board. And as you can see there, the reason why year over year flour, cake, cookies, eggs, milk, butter, sugar, overall higher across the board. So certainly taking a toll on that Greek tradition. And now, Brian, some Americans like you like to create their own <laughs> New Year's Eve traditions. And so Brian insisted on getting Taco Bell. Taco Bell is open at some locations on New Year's Eve and hey. New Year's Day. Prices there up about 14.6%. You can yeah. see right here, we have a crunch wrap on set. Now that actually is, is down from last year. The cost mm. is down about a yeah. dollar yeah. twenty-two. It costs roughly two forty-two mm. now here in the US, according to a study from Price. Listo, so I know that you guys are well, already so let's, let's hit that ticker, of course, Taco Bell, <laughs> owned by Yum Brands. Let's get this video clip on the Yum Brands, uh, on the Yum Brands ticker page. Bro, what the heck is this thing? I believe that is a small lime. It's a lime. Oh, no, oh, okay, okay. Don't, don't, don't eat. Oh, is, <laughs> don't eat. <laughs> but, of course, you cannot have New Year's Eve without champagne. Champagne, also mm -hmm. higher alcohol at home, costing about 4.5% more. Now, according to Finance Buzz, the average cost for a bottle is about 55 to $56 on average. So certainly, across the board, no matter how you celebrate New Year's Eve, it will likely cost you more this year on a very serious no general. I mean, you suck down 12 mm. uh, Bud Lights over there by some, like some folks on our team. I mean, you're going to Taco Bell all day. You're going to Taco <laughs> Bell all day, Brad. Yeah, you got the Corbell here, too, to wash it all down. $18 Corbell. 18 Yeah. Yep. You know, of course, as we just heard, though, consumers may be spending a little less on their champagne celebrations, opting for a different maybe Prosecco, perhaps, as mm -hmm. opposed to the more expensive champagne. But overall, these traditions costing a little bit more. Wow. And eggs I feel so bad. More. I feel so bad for you, Brooke. <laughs> Every time you, I know. You always put me through this. <laughs> you've been, you've been, this has been some challenging food hits for you, but I'm so excited. This but that's right. We did have a Crunchwrap Supreme that actually had an egg inside of it, and eggs mm. up nearly 50% year over year. That's on top there. Oh, that's on top. Okay. And so certainly, you know, when you think about just how much it costs to make that item, costing more for Taco Bell's bottom line, ultimately, Yum Brand's bottom line. But no, also smaller cake. businesses, as you can see with Pie Bakery, also feeling the brunt, and consumers at home perhaps getting these fruits. Well, I don't want to be that guy that just puts my hand in this cake. I want the golden lira, bro. No, I can't no, do no. it because we have to eat the cake after this. Now I'm that dope who did that. I can't do it. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> the egg doesn't travel well. No, really? No. Well, where'd you get find the egg one? It's on oh, the top. It's on top. Oh, wow. I didn't get the egg one. Thanks so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right. That's it for now, everyone. I'm Brad Smith here with Brian Sosby. That's Brooke De Palma. And from all the Yahoo Finance Morning team, have a wonderful, hate, safe, and happy new year. Mm. Here's to a great 2023. Oh, yeah. Let's go, markets. Nice. Cheers.